Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make bibimbap sauce at home. I'll show you two versions. This easy and simple gochujang sauce that just hits the spot, and this gourmet version that rivals any bibimbap sauce served at Korean restaurants. And both of these sauces are so good that you can literally put it on everything. And I mean on everything. <laughs> and watch to the end so I can show you how to make a simple bibimbap at home. Yes, we Koreans eat bibimbap in simple ways, especially as casual lunches and dinners. 오늘의 레시피 맛있는 고추장 양념장 만들기 간단한 고추장 소스 레시피 그리고 황금 고추장 소스 레시피 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. I think I'm gonna add some more. I, I want to make it like spicy and maybe even like drink it. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. So to make our simple gochujang sauce, we have one tablespoon of gochujang, that's Korean red pepper paste, and we have half a teaspoon of honey. If you don't have honey, you could use brown sugar. And to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of water. And then we're just gonna mix. And we're gonna add just a tiny drizzle of sesame oil, less than half a teaspoon. And then give it a mix. And then we're just gonna garnish a little bit with toasted sesame seeds that's crushed with salts, called gesogum. All right, so we're gonna push this to the side. Here I have the same thing, one tablespoon of gochujang and half a teaspoon of honey. And to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of water. And to this, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of mayo, one tablespoon of scallions, just the green part only. And to this, we're gonna add some Fresh garlic, always use fresh garlic. Never ever those pre-chopped garlics that come in a jar. Turn it over and we wanna put about a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated garlic. So here I have beef dashda, that's sogogi dashda. This is beef bouillon powder and we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of this to our gochujang sauce. And a tiny drizzle of sesame oil, about half a teaspoon. And then we're just gonna mix it all. So mix until everything looks completely incorporated. And just a light dusting of gesogum, that's crushed sesame seeds with salt. And we're gonna do a quick taste test. I'm gonna start with the simple gochujang sauce that we made. Mmm. I feel the heat, but it's so nice. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Simple, it's just like slightly sweet, not even really, and I don't really like to have sweet gochujang sauce, by the way. Oh my God. This on everything will just be uh, so good. <laughs> and using another spoon, we're gonna taste the second one where it has a lot more stuff in it, goodness stuff. Mm. Ooh, there's so many, um, notes of flavors in this. The garlic is nicely coating my mouth, but not in a super powerful way. There's different kinds of salty taste in my mouth that is just very yummy. Oh, it's really hard to explain because we added all the other stuff. And the gochujang tastes a little less subtle, but it still has that spicy taste that's growing uh, in the back of my mouth now. And I'm starting to feel the perspiration coming. <laughs> oh, this is so good. And maybe even like drink it. <laughs> now you ask, how long do they last? I would store the sauce in the fridge and eat it within seven to 10 days. That's what I would do. Some people will keep it longer, but that's up to you. Now you can use these sauces for bibimbap, of course, but you could also also use it for snack with celery and cucumbers and any of your favorite vegetables. So you could add some vinegar 
to your gochujang sauce and make it a little bit tangy if you like. In Korean, we call that chojang. If you plan to have raw seafood or sashimi or Korean style raw fish filet, I would highly recommend getting this super strong vinegar. Vinegar that's like at least 10 times stronger than the average vinegar. It takes over your face because that vinegar just totally like wakes you up. And add it to the gochujang sauce that we made and that becomes chojang. As promised, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple bibimbap at home. That's some warm Korean rice. To that, we're gonna add some scrambled eggs, some toasted seaweeds, just tear it all up, and then just drop it in here. And then kimchi, of course. So put as little as you want, as much as you want. I mean, it's totally up to you. And then I'm gonna go in with scissors and just cut everything into bite-sized pieces, like that. Then we're gonna drizzle some sesame oil. And here comes our gourmet gochujang sauce. And we're just gonna pour. I mean, you could add as little as you want or as much as you want. It's totally up to you. I mean, does that look good or does that look good? So you just go in and start mixing everything up. I mean, that mixing noise is awesome. And there you have it. Our simple bibimbap at home with kimchi, scrambled eggs, and our delicious gochujang sauce. I know you want a bite. I mean, who doesn't? It smells so good. Bon appetit, everyone. Mm. Mm. So simple to make, but so delicious because of the sauce. I think I'm gonna add some more. I, I wanna make it like spicy. Oh. Okay, one more time, just to show you how delicious this sauce is. So you just need Korean rice. Yes, it has to be Korean rice. Not all Asian rice are the same. Mm. Mm. Now it's perfect. Mm. This gochujang sauce, ooh, so good. Oh, solves your dinner and lunch problems all together. And if you feel like making a more fancy bibimbap at home, make sure to check out my bibimbap recipe playlist at my channel so you can pick and choose the toppings you want to add to your bibimbap. I have to say goodbye because I want to actually go in and inhale this. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for watching today. And as always, if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.